Shake it down. Ooh. <laughs> Shake it down. Do, 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 do. I have no idea. Let's never do that again. <laughs> Sorry. We just had a bit of a puff. And a skull mug of beer. And getting ready for some Bilber. Nice mug. Because I have anime <laughs> Toronto, Ontario. 2019? No. Yeah, 2019. It's my son's mug. He's moving out in three days. Mm. Oh, how sad. How sad. <laughs> He's moving down the road. Like, you know, it's fine. <clears throat> yes. So that means anyway. he'll be stopping in for dinner a lot. <laughs> I don't think so. He doesn't eat here no. now, no. and he's like living with us. Oh well, that's the life of a young man. I went through it. Mm. Yep. Totally screwed it up, <laughs> but bounced back with a beautiful woman. <sighs> Salvaged my life because <laughs> I am a piece of salvage. <laughs> And I'm also a Bill Burr. I'm like a cross between Louis C.K. and Bill Burr if they had a baby. That's right. <laughs> oh my uh, god. A very fluffy baby. You're my fluffy baby. Now I look more like George Carlin. I don't know. Anyhow, we're going to do a Big whole man. special. Okay, cool. Now, I've never done do a it. full Bill Burr special. So, um, so this it. is a a new experience for me. I've seen clips of Bill Burr, obviously, but but uh, never a full special. So we're going to break this one up into like, I don't know how many parts, but maybe six. It's an hour long, so mm -hmm. bear with us. And, uh, you know, feel free to fast forward if you're bored with our intros. Brad just wants to do a full Bill Burr. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Never mind. It sounded good like 20 seconds ago when yeah. I thought of it. Never mind. <clears throat> That's because I'm the funny one. Mm. Yes, you are. I'm the Simon to your Garfunkel. <laughs> I'm the Kermit to your Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> okay, oh let's get caught on. Is you ready? Oh, oh I haven't even it. I haven't even lined up the the thing yet. You had one job. Oh. Okay. Fuck, you Talk about something. Do this. something. That's what smoking weed does. Something, 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 something. <laughs> dark side. Yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> no, you're my sweetheart. Oh. My fluffy Wilbur. All right. Oh, that's good. It's like, so I think, I don't know. We like, joke around a lot. But... Wilbur kind of looks like you, but with AIDS, you know. <laughs> Not HIV, but full blown AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody said in the comments that. When I was watching a Louis, when we were doing the Louis C.K. one, it's like yeah. it's like watching Louis C.K. watching Louis C.K. Yeah, so, yeah, that's right. Okay, I got it ready. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Sorry about that. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Thank you for coming out here. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I didn't cure anything. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking Lifetime Achievement Award out here. <laughs> I, uh, I have been on the road for the last five months. I don't know, man. I just really thinking the worst of people. <laughs> really am. You see some of the animals. Some of the animals I see, like I was in the airport the other day, right? I'm sitting there waiting for my flight, just hating my life. And this, watching this, watching this lady, she's eating Egg McMuffins, like plural. It just threw like three of them. Right down her throat, like a pelican, just like right down her gullet. And when she was done, she wiped her face with the bag. Oh. Oh, with the bag. Not even like a gentleman, like, no, just through the corners and <laughs> She just got a straight razor shave. She's an absolute animal. I saw this other dude, he was so out of shape, he was like trying to itch his back and he couldn't reach it. So he walked up to a support pole 
that was holding up an entire floor of the airport and just walks up and he just starts like rubbing up against it. Like, like a grizzly bear, just sitting there. Like, I've done that. Just a fucking animal. Dude, I am so pro swine flu, it's, it's like ridiculous. I want it, we need a plague. I'm telling you, we need a plague. It's gotta happen, and don't be afraid. It's only, gonna, it's only gonna yeah. kill the weak, you know? <laughs> Seriously, put on a sweater, take some vitamins, you're gonna be fine. Just, <laughs> you gotta let mother nature do her thing, man. She's, she keeps trying to help us out and we won't let her do it. Keeps trying to thin the herd every single time. We're like, oh, good job to get your vaccination. No. Why? Why? So Egg McMuffin Lady can breed with the back fat guy, you know? <laughs> oh my God. It's gotta happen. You gotta let it do it. Seriously, <laughs> plague, it's, it's like nature's forest fire, you know? <laughs> Just let it burn out all the dead wood. <laughs> I swear to God, we're the only, we're the only species that saves the weak. We really are. Lions don't do that shit, you know? Lion gets a little thorn in his paw and everybody says, oh, he's having an intervention. How are you feeling? Is everything all right? You need some penicillin? And it's like, fuck him. That's why there's no traffic on the Serengeti. Got a bunch of lions just standing there in gridlock. Like, what the fuck is going on up there? Dude, go! Just fucking go! <laughs> Our lady, you get up there, there's some hyena licking his balls, like, oh, that was a big holdup, right? <laughs> like, like, you never saw that before. Oh, by all means, slow down and look at it! <laughs> <laughs> so, I got a girlfriend, man. I watch a, lot of, uh, watch a lot of TV with her, you know? I just annoy the hell out of her. She loves watching the Oprah Winfrey show, and I love like watching her watch the Oprah Winfrey show. <laughs> and I wait for Oprah to say something stupid, and the second she does, I just take it out of my girl, because I'm an asshole. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> yep. No, we were watching it the other day, you know, Oprah's on there, she's interviewing some clam, you know? And, uh... <laughs> She's giving her this big ridiculous intro, like she's done this, she's done that, she's done this, and she does the most difficult job on the planet. She's the mother, and continues on immediately. I just look at my girlfriend like, <laughs> yeah, like really? Being a mother is the most difficult job on the planet? Oh yeah, all those mothers who die every year from black lung, from inhaling all that coal dust. <laughs> Dude, women are just constantly patting themselves on the back about how difficult their lives are, and no one corrects them because they want to fuck them. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. So there's just this tornado of like misinformation. I have the most difficult job on the planet. <laughs> What would you rather be doing? Drilling to the center of the earth, shaking hands with the devil. Every time there's a rumble in the ground, you wait for the whole thing to collapse down on top of you so they can write that folk song about you, you know? The Bee Gees. Would you rather be up in the sunshine, running around with a couple of toddlers that you can send to bed anytime you want on some sort of trumped up charges, right? Because you want to have a drink and watch the prices right, you know what I mean? I couldn't oh, believe it. It's the most difficult job on the planet. Oh, yeah. I thought roofing in the middle of July is a redhead. <laughs> I thought that that was difficult. <laughs> but these mothers are bending over at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> Dude, any job that you can do in your pajamas is not a difficult job. All right? Give me a break. Christ, you're 35 years old, playing hide-and-go-seek. You're living the dream! You're living the dream! No time card, no taxes, you're off the fucking grid! Making popsicle stick houses, I mean, I'm... <laughs> it's the most difficult job on the planet. Oprah's not even a mother, how the fuck would she know? <laughs> Unbelievable.
<laughs> Granted, neither am I, but I, you know, I think it kind of balances itself out. I don't know. I'm so full of shit. I really am. <laughs> I really realize that about myself. I mean, that's one thing about getting older. You just realize how full of shit you are. <laughs> you know, people ask you questions. You just start answering them. <laughs> you know? You get to that point, you're just watching the shit coming out of your mouth. Blah, blah, blah. People sitting there listening, taking notes. Yeah. It's like I flunked everything in high school. Why would you listen to me? You know, you know? I was having lunch with this girl the other day, right? Right in the middle of lunch, she looked across the table from me and she goes, um, this is gonna seem oddly racist. Nope. And I was like, all right, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> 41 years old, never heard a conversation started this way. Let's have it, baby. Let's hear what you got. She's just like, um, there are a lot of Asians in this restaurant. I'm like, that's not racist. Well, that's an observation. There are a lot of Asians in this restaurant. However, if you were to say, what the fuck are all these fucking Asians doing in this goddamn restaurant? Now that would seem oddly racist. Yeah. <laughs> but you still haven't said anything bad about Asians, but you definitely seem to have a problem with them being in the restaurant, which is odd. That's odd because I've never heard any bad stereotypes about Asians in restaurants, you know what I mean? Like, dude, they come in, they're taking up all the tables, you know, just being all Asian. <laughs> What do you hear? All you hear was about their driving, right? Even that one's bullshit. It's not that they suck, there's no happy medium. You know? It's either Tokyo Drift, 90 miles an hour, <laughs> driving sideways, parallel parking, and break dancing into the club, right? You're like, Jesus Christ, is that guy from the future? How does one man possess all of that talent? Oh, they're just stopping in an intersection. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They don't even get mad. They don't even get mad. They're like, I know, I suck. I don't know what it is. It's like, it's boring. It's almost like it's so simple. I just start daydreaming and I, you know. I don't know. I find a lot of that, uh, a lot of that racial stuff like fascinating. You know, like the different rules of like how, who gets in trouble, who doesn't. Like I've noticed black people have the genius to put the curse word after they say the race of the person. Where white dudes, we always put it in front and if we would just make that little adjustment, we could save so many careers, <laughs> so many jobs could be saved in the white community if we would just put it after. You never notice that in conversation here, black guy being like, man, I was standing there, this Asian motherfucker came in, he starts talking about, blah, blah. you don't even hear it. You're just sitting there, oh, what did this Asian motherfucker do? <laughs> I would love to hear the rest of this story, right? Dude, I would tell the exact same story, right? I'm standing there, right? This fucking Asian comes in, right? <laughs> Everybody's all like, whoa, whoa, hey, easy, 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 dude. Oh what year is it, you know? <laughs> it's like, dude, I just said what he said. I just preempted the fuck. That's all I did. He suggested he's hooking up with people's mothers. I'm not even doing that. <laughs> Wait, I got it out of the way. I got it out of the way. That's how I talk. This fucking guy came in. Fucking Asian. Okay, I'll stop it there. Oh my god, it's good. That is good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, my cheeks hurt. Oh. Me too, because yeah. I've been chewing gum all day as well. It's like, oh my. I've god. heard a bit of the Oprah bit there. Yeah, I think uh, him doing the Oprah thing. He's used that in other bits. So. Yeah, and the mother part, the DVD, the hardest show. Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I heard that. Well, that's what I meant. Like. That Might was been, about the Oprah thing, yeah. One of the older videos we did. Yeah, he's done that mm -hmm. bit a few times. It is funny. Yeah. yeah it's like, he just used different, uses different examples. He's funny, though. I mean, I don't, I don't like his voice, and that's one of the reasons why I never listened to it. Yeah. Because he's tried to, it's like, no, I don't like his voice. It bugs me. But now that we're doing videos and stuff, I'm watching it. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting used to his voice. Yeah. But he is funny. He's, lo he's yeah. loud, and he, he says he's loud. Like, the tone yeah. is always loud in this thing. Yeah, but he's like very, um, me, huh? very good at picking up things like that are true, like have truth to them to mm -hmm. some degree, you know. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah he's good. He's <clears> good. <throat> or at least, at least breaking it down. Like, I mean, obviously, being a mother is a hard job, but, <clears throat> yeah. but sort of just putting it into perspective a little bit about what defines a hard job and what doesn't, you know. Yeah. 
Right. <clears throat> Cleaning a chicken coop at 80 degrees in the summer is a shitty job. There you go, and you did that. Mm -hmm. Many times. Well, I've done roofing as a redhead. Yes. Not full time though. I've done gardening outside as a redhead. I, I once got up on a roof and did roofing in the sunshine and I got burned pretty bad. I once <laughs> fell asleep at a wave pool in Hamilton, Ontario. That's not work though. No, 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 no. You're talking about sunburned. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, but you're getting off topic. Okay, never mind. I, I don't care it. about your entertainment mishaps. Save that for another video. I grew up on a farm. We did all kind of nasty yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's the hardest. Hay, wood. I have picked stones in a in a farm. I've picked stones out of the field for eight hours on a sunny day. Really? And that was fucking brutal. Yeah. Like you're just picking rocks out of the soil. Yeah. That sucks. And you're just walking up and down the field in, you know, 30 yeah. degrees heat. So hey. 30 degrees Celsius. We used to make our own fences, you know. Ground auger, you know, out in the dirt, you're all dirty and stuff. And it's it's kind of cool. Actually. We're comparing bullet wounds now, are we? I kind of miss it. <laughs> I do. I miss it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hard work is good. Makes you, makes you appreciate. Oh fuck! More. I don't miss the hard work. <laughs> no, but it I does make you miss appreciate the country. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does actually. I think it teaches you good ethics. Yeah. Good, good work. Well, absolutely. To a certain degree. Anyway. Kids today, I tell you. Mm. Can we get a drive everywhere? <laughs> you please, we don't want to, we don't want to walk four blocks. It may hurt our feet. No, we used to bike. It would now take we, us like four hours to get into town, like biking on the. Yeah, used to bike into Bancroft too, and it was like, yeah. it was half a day. Half a day, yeah, eh? Half a day, eh? I yeah, just, same, I sounded so us. Canadian there. Yeah. <laughs> half a day, eh? Yeah, for day, eh? Tomorrow morning he's gonna eat two toasts side by each. Two toasts side by each? Yes, yes. Some, that's, a, some that's not Canadian, that's French. Jam framboise. French Canadian. Yes, yes. <laughs> not such a thing. Have some taters and some karotis. <laughs> <laughs> that's what his dad says. Yeah. No. Karotis. Yeah. We're gonna get some uh, potatoes. No, that's what they say. Potatoes. Yeah. They don't say potatoes. It's Padidas. Padidas and Karotis. <laughs> hey, got the Padidas? I got the Karotis. Yep. <laughs> <No. laughs> Sorry. This is just weird. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that was part one of Bilber. Six to go. You guys, remember, if you find it too long that we're talking too much, just go to the video. Otherwise, go fuck yourself. Oh, fucking zinger. I'm tired of people complaining about it. It's like, use the goddamn fast forward button. Who cares? I don't care. You know what? Give Brad shit for saying that. For, uh, for me. All the cool guys Just know. Just Lucy says, you know, to no, tell you no. to shut up. All the cool guys are like, yeah, Brad. And all your little girly friends are like, ooh, you should be more appropriate. I don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> this I, might be the sauce talking. Did I mention I'm Brad's captive? No. <laughs> when the sauce gets talking... Jesus. Everybody gets walking. Mm. Okay. We got a lot of shit to cut out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm not cutting that out. Fuck that. All right. We'll see you on part two of Bill Burr. You're so fucked. Let it go. Just let it happen. Right? Let it happen. Let it happen. Let it go. Just let it happen. Let it move your body. Let it move your soul. Let it go. Oh, no. Do, 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 do. Back to the studio. <laughs> okay.